hooked up, ready to go. Just filled up with diesel. I'm gonna move the diesel tra trailer to where it goes and I'll unhook my pickup. And then I'm gonna drive out to the field and get the plow set and start plowing. I tried to call my dad, he didn't answer. I'm gonna need someone to come get me. Uh, first I was gonna spray, plow all of this, just start early and get it done in the day. I don't really have to do that. Why would I wanna sit on the tractor for 12 hours? which is about what it'll take to do this if I don't have to. So I'm gonna break it up in two days and get started today. I'm here. I haven't been here in a while. There you go. Much better. Remember my rain gauge it broke? Did I show you that? I brought a new one to fix that here. Well, I am set up mostly ready. Um, I'm gonna go change his rain gauge. Dad's actually gonna come get me now. He's going over to the barn in a minute, so it makes sense. He's gonna come get me, take me, I'll get my truck. That way I have it here for when I do finish, so. I'm back. Let's go do some plowing. Well, I'm plowing. Um, it's really hard right here. If that's where they drove down to the pins uh, with the lots of cow trailers, pickups, and all kinds of things. So I'm going slow. I'm not going uh, as deep as I probably uh, will go. But uh, this is not a good test of what the field looks like throughout. So I haven't. I got it pulling straight. I've got it. Um, going decently in the ground but again you know, this is so hard back I don't want to push it too hard this first through so I'm gonna go this at least make this through here and I may I'm gonna pull out and get into some some different ground and then I'll set the plow there and then I'll keep going and what a difference not being in packed ground makes this is uh it's plowing really nice thought I was gonna have to adjust the depth but I think it's doing a pretty good job. I'm no expert. I just do this for a living, but we don't plow very often. And I've plowed not often in my life, but I think this is gonna work. We'll see, I'm afraid if I go another notch deeper, then I'll be too deep. I don't know. Still plowing, 30 acres done. Doing a good job. It's um, it's pretty when it's plowed. There's some uh, mesquites out here that I hope I'm getting, I'm killing some of them. Not that they're, uh, well, they're, they're just annoying because they suck a lot of moisture. They're hard to kill. Um, they have really long roots. And uh, I'm sure the combine header doesn't really want to deal with those. I don't really want to drive over them because of the thorns. So here's one. I'm 
not going to get that on this pass, probably, no. Next one, you're dying. Am I dying? I don't know. I'm not, I know I'm going to kill some of them, probably, or at least cut them off. Uh, but I, I'm not sure where that grow point is on those mesquites. So, I'm over here on the other end of the field, and uh, obviously the cows hung out here quite a bit. Uh, they also broke off some of these limbs that are in my way. So I'm going to move them out of my way. Like that. All right, that's better. This, I'm, I think I'm gonna be able to plow around this old feeder here. And I've never been able to get that close to the trees, so I guess thanks to the cows. That was a little tight. I better not try to fit through there. Well, that's gonna be it for me. I didn't even check how many acres I did. I don't know, maybe 40, close to 50. I did the whole perimeter, uh, just something I wanted to get done. So I've got, that's as close as I can get to the fence because the saddle tanks stick out actually wider than the plow. And it really can only go one direction that close because the right side of the plow has got a wing that'll stick out and it can hang the fence and I don't want that to happen so anyways I'll try to finish this tomorrow should be probably a long day but should be able to get that done tomorrow and um, I'm quitting today because I've got uh, Emily and I are coaching our we started like a little flag football clinic league type thing for the kids in rural and people from other towns have come and we are the two that are in charge of like 36 kids pre-k to fifth grade it's been good it's been hurting cats sometimes but uh, we're learning they're learning and it's been that's been the goal to see kids playing doing stuff so i'm leaving to go do that that's all you need to know well it's a new day i'm plowing again um things are going well i uh, still have quite a bit to do i'm not quite halfway done yet just slow going 16 feet at a time with the disc but it is plowing good. Um, it'll be a little cloddy, not expected. Um, got some mesquites, I got some sunflowers. It's doing a pretty good job on both of those, I think. You know, mesquites, I'm not sure if I'm getting low enough or not, but definitely gonna take some out, hurt the others. So, get this plowed. Plan here, I'm gonna come back to wheat. Um, I would like to put out some fertilizer and then uh, have rain on it, and then incorporate it with the field cultivator, and then come and sow it in wheat. And then I'll be uh, in business, at least that's the plan. So that all requires rain. There's good moisture now, but it was just really hard from the cattle and all that, so still plowing. The other thing, behind the scenes, I'm trying to get good shots for you, you know? Just, I'm trying to provide good, high quality farming for my livelihood and high quality videos and, and uh, content for you. So uh, part of that makes farming less efficient. Hope you can appreciate that. And uh, using my hammer, because my holder is a magnet, to get shots in the field like this. So you're welcome. Hope you're enjoying it. Subscribe. There's a notifications bell that tells you when I post new videos, which is important because you should watch more videos. Tell your friends. All those things, things I do for you, you know, just do it back for me. Quick update, not that there's a lot to update. I'm still plowing. I, um, so I changed up my technique a little bit, not that it matters. Instead of just doing um, small sections at a time, because I'm only turning left, I don't want to pick the plow up because the disc only I can turn left without raising up. If I turn right, I gotta raise it up. So I'm just basically going left turn the whole way. And what I was doing before, I was doing like skipping a couple couple throughs and then doing those, uh, doing a bunch of circles and getting that section and then moving on doing that. Well, I basically just skipped the whole field all the way down and now I'm working my way back. And so all doesn't matter, it's all the same. It's just something different and uh, yeah, lots of lots of uh, 
lots, lots of plowing. When you're only 16 feet at a time, it just it takes a minute. But it's going well. Plowing good. Tractor's holding up. Plow's holding up. My butt's a little tired, but all in all, going well. I have been checking these seals every once in a while uh, that are leaking. Let me show you. It's loud, it's hard to show you. Basically that seal is leaking. I got the parts ordered. We're gonna fix it. Um, they been kind of seeping out, but then as it gets hotter, the hotter the hotter the days, excuse me, the more they're kind of leaking out. So I don't exactly know the process for doing that. Dad's, Dad's got all that figured out, but we'll have to take the whole tire assembly off and undo that axle and all that. To get that seal out and another uh, bushing in there so that's coming next but i want to get this plowed so it will rain and then we'll get that fixed but i gotta get the stripper repaired i mean i said this already i'll say it again gotta get the stripper put back together those cylinders should be ready i think i'm gonna go get those today's wednesday i may go get those friday gotta go to abilene i don't really want to go to abilene but I need to do that um get the stripper out of the way so I can get the tractor in and we can use the chain hoist up uh, top of the barn to help pull that tire off. So lots of moving parts. Need, need to get some things fixed here before harvest gets busy. So fix this tractor. We've got to uh, grease, uh, fix the fan clutch on the 8130. It's time to service that. Got to get the stripper, some brushes replaced and things serviced on that. Get the green drill out and get it looked over. I think it's pretty well ready, unless I need to change some, some discs on there. Anyways, stuff just need to get done. Also, it feels good to get out of the um, tractor. It is uh, it's a lot of sitting. So I get just talking to you also, highlights of my day. Here's mesquites. I got a lot of things like that. It's breaking it off somewhere down in there i don't know i don't know if that's low enough to kill that plant or obviously that part is gonna die but i don't know if it's gonna green back out from the base we will see but i got just stuff like that kind of throughout this field i need to spray probably neck maybe next uh maybe i will that do that next or whenever the wheat comes off again check this out Started shaking. I just noticed a bunch of hawks just flying around me. Remember they were following me when I was, I don't know what was I doing, spraying? I don't know what they're doing. So close. That little section over there, it's gonna take me about 30 minutes. It's just slow going. 30 minutes over there and then I gotta sew this end. I've already sewn. I gotta, I've already plowed this end down here. Uh, but I got to do that down there along the turn row and then also that hill where it's really rocky it's not killing there's some uh, careless weeds that the cows ate down pretty good but they're rooted in rooted in in those rocks and I'm not getting them with the first pass of the disc so probably won't get them all with the second pass but I'm gonna do that and then I'm gonna be done I'm gonna leave the tractor here tonight and come back and get it sometime tomorrow well I'm done but I'm on the wrong end of the field. You know what happens sometimes. So I'm actually going to drive to the end, go down this where the where it was hard packed where I started. That'll get me to my truck, and then I'm gonna do the that turn row, make a round, then I'll be done. So that's what I do. Thanks for watching. Appreciate it. Um, if you're gonna farm, farm it.